Hi, I'm Jared from FNS Yamaha. Today I'm going to be showing you the 2019 Alumacraft Classic 165. This build will come with all the features that I will show and discuss with you here today. Beginning with the trailer, this is a load right galvanized bunk trailer. The bunks for this trailer are carpeted. Moving up to the boat now. This boat is a carpeted interior. However, the cockpit is vinyl. In the front of the boat, we have a forward seating pedestal, which currently doesn't host the seat, but one can be easily moved up here if needed be. Just in front of that, we have a small compartment for storage. And to the right of that, we have an interior light as well as a trolling motor plug. To the left and right of our seat pedestal, we have compartments that open up for storage. These compartments are not separated. Currently in our left compartment, we have the holder for a battery for a future trolling motor for the boat. Directly behind that, we have our live wolf, which has two separate compartments. They can be separated by a divider. However, this time they are not. Moving back to our vinyl cockpit, as you can see, the floor here is vinyl. We have currently set up all four seats in the cockpit just to show you what this layout looks like. But if you look to the classic to the left of me here, we have spread out the four seats, moving one to the front and one to the back, just to show you more seating options. Each seat can be easily moved to any position. Moving on to the helm now, you have four gauges. We have the tachometer and voltmeter for the boat, as well as the speedometer and fuel gauge. To the right of the steering wheel, we have all of these switches for your accessories that you may need when you're out in the water. And down to the left, just below the steering wheel, we have a 12 volt plug to power any accessories you might need out on the water. To the left of our cockpit, if you were sitting in the boat, we have a lockable compartment that opens up for storage. This can hold long items such as fishing rods as it does extend up into the front of the boat. We have an identical compartment on the opposite side, also lockable. This one housing the anchor light, but again, it also extends up into the front of the boat. Directly behind, our two rear seats here. We have another compartment. Here you can see the seat base for another seat. In this compartment, we have the starting battery mount for your Yamaha outboard, as well as live wall accessories such as dividers. On the port side of the transom, we have the gas cap for refueling your boat. And on the opposite side, we have the anchor light plug and a small interior light as well. This boat has a five person maximum capacity and can be rigged with any size outboard up to a 75 horsepower outboard. This boat is currently on sale at FNS Yamaha and Marine.